This is Andrew's M340i, and it's one of the best cars that BMW has ever produced, and even features the same engine and transmission as a Toyota Supra. And while that's great for performance, unfortunately, they took some notes from Toyota on the interior because it has a plastic dash and door cards. And while it's a great car, it just feels kind of cheap. But so Andrew will stop drooling all over my car. We got him his own full interior from a G80 M3, including door cards, seats, and a full leather dash. <laughs> So as Brian said, I'm Andrew and this is my M340i. As you can see, there's no engine or transmission in the car right now. And while we're waiting for the engine to get finished up, we decided to go ahead and do one of the biggest while we're there mods yet. Now, as you can see, we didn't skimp out at all. We got the full leather door cars, the dash, everything. I will tell you 100%, once you put that dash in the car, it is a completely new car. The Drive It Gray has this like goldish, orangish flake in it. So I think it's gonna go really nice with the orange. We have some other big surprises as Andrew hinted at, that are coming on the main channel. But with that, let's pull out his stock interior and then we'll try to see if this fits. I really hope it does. And for his sake, I hope there's no rattles with the dash. So today's video is not quite a DIY, but if we come across anything interesting or any obstacles that you guys may want to know about to do this yourselves, we'll let you know. All right, so the most exciting part and the most daunting part is going to be the dash. So we're going to start by removing this one. Now we removed it on a 335, should be similar-ish. But to get to it, what we need to do is we need to remove the steering wheel, get this out of the way, remove the screen, remove all of the head unit, the electronics, the vents. We have a lot to do. So let's get started with the wheel. And we'll go from there. That's different. It comes straight out. Perfect. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to come out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like, uh. Hashtag sorry, Andrew. <laughs> So I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to assume it is, but this is your head unit. And if you wanted to get your head unit out, you pull these screws out. This is hard plastic, so you're not gonna really flex it. Looks like you're pulling the dash to do a head unit. So luckily it's not 1995 with Pioneer, but uh, that sucks. Now something that's very different on this car is compared to the F-Series, you have to pull this little airbag emblem out and there's a hidden screw that was not on the F-Series, but this design is so much better than what they did on the F-30 and the F-80. There's also a few hidden screws. One of them is over here. So we got to a point where we thought we were gonna be able to get the dash out and it doesn't quite wanna budge. So we're actually gonna to have to remove the center console to move forward here. By we, you mean you? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh yeah. All right, so we did have to loosen the center console. We didn't have to completely move it out of the way but we definitely had to unbolt it so we could slide it back a couple inches. We're so close. This is the spike. All right. And that's how you build a race car. We As 
you can see here, we have the factory BMW dash trim, which is pretty nice, but I think we can do one better with the BMW dry carbon dash trim for the G20 and G80. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove some of these components from the dash trim, and we'll be replacing that into our new carbon fiber dash trim. Now that we have the dash trim installed, we need to get rid of this because that's not going to go well with that. So we have this BMW Genuine exposed dry carbon piece that we're going to be installing here. This is so easy. Ready? Boop. Just slide it like that. Boop. Look at that. Look at that difference. Looks so good. Boom. That looks so good. Now with this kit, we're installing the matching Alcantara knee pads, completely necessary. Look at this. This is hard plastic. This is like cushy Alcantara. You can take a nap on it if you get tired while driving. So let's put them in. So what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be taking this OEM steering wheel and replacing the trim with M Performance matte carbon fiber trim. Now one of the only things with this trim is that you do lose the heated steering wheel button on there, but this looks way better. So we're willing to make the sacrifice. So while we're there, one other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these magnetic paddle shifters by JQ Madrace and we're gonna install them into the wheel for a nice tactile feedback for each clean shift. <laughs> All right, so as you can see with that new dash, this car is already looking like a brand new car. We have these Mad Trace magnetic paddle shifters. They look amazing. The steering wheel looks amazing. The center trim looks amazing, but these seats, they gotta go. So let's pull them out. they physically fit, but do the electronics work? Now is the test. Let's test it out. Okay. Uh-oh. No movement. <laughs> Does your seat work over there? Nope. Uh... Wait, wait. Why does yours work and not mine? But it's kind of odd that this one works, but that one doesn't, unless it was damage when they took it out or? All right, good news. The driver side works. The passenger doesn't, so we're gonna have to figure this out. I think if we transfer over these electronics, which we didn't have to do over there, maybe we swap out what was in the car. Uh, maybe that'll work and solve our problem. Or maybe the seat is completely fried and it's never gonna work. So only one way to find out. It doesn't ah, work. There we go. <clears throat> it did work. He saw Wait, it. I saw it. It moved. It just moved. I swear. <laughs> Why'd you get my hopes up? Don't do that to me. Dude, it literally it just moved. moved. All right, ready? Watch this. Oh yeah, we got power, which was a joint effort of all of us because, um, it was a lot of trial and error. We had the factory box and it didn't work. And then we had the secondary box from the M340i 
wherever that went. That didn't work. So then we took the driver module from the factory M340i and we hooked that up and it worked for, what was like a half second. Yeah. It was like, boop, we got really excited and then uh, that was a failure. So then that stopped working. So we plugged part of the electronic system into the M340i box and the rest into the factory box. That didn't work. So then we used Pro Tool to code the car to have M Sport seats and still didn't work. So then Zach plugged in the box from the M340i driver seat into the passenger seat fully and it works. <laughs> See, it's easy, <laughs> very straightforward. So before this stops working, we're going to uh, plug the seatbelt in and uh, get these bolted down. So we got everything installed on the car today and it looks amazing. The orange in the interior goes great with the flake inside of the Dravit gray paint. Uh, Brian, what do you think? I love it. I mean, I bought it because I thought it was gonna be mine, but it looks so good. I'm super excited that we were able to get it done. And of course we had some while you're there mods like the paddle shifters, we had a fire extinguisher mount, we had floor mats, but we also have some other while you're there mods coming when we do our actual video on this car on our main channel. So to be sure to check out our main page because when this thing is done, it's going to be an absolute monster both inside and out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If there's anything in this video that you guys are interested, please check the links below for any product details and where you can get them on our site. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.